He, this is a guy who just gets it, all right? He walks into the press conference yesterday. What? Why are you looking at me like that? He just gets it, all right? He, he walks into the, Yeah, he, he gets, gets it. it. He gets and, it. And let's hear the big reason why he gets it. He walks into the press conference yesterday, and this is just a gem of a move, of a move all right? Robbie, listen to this. He's wearing a Ryan Fitzpatrick jersey. Come on. Leroy, how savvy is that? Pretty little nice. icebreaker? A little, little bit of a laugher. I was confused at first. I was like, was he doing that to be cute or is he getting hazed right now? What's happening? First press conference. Is Fitzy making him wear the jersey or is he just doing a little icebreaker? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand what was happening at first because he's like, ah, 14. That's not his number. Everybody's like, ah, 14. Ah, nah, nah, nah. That's Fitzpatrick's jersey. What's he wearing that for? Ah, obviously. Little, little savvy nod. He's in a quote unquote quarterback battle. But you know what they say, Leroy? All right, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. <laughs> That's what they say. Frenemies. Frenemies. Really? Between the both of you. Like, stop. It was funny. It was cute. That's it. Move on. Nah. It's all head. It's all mental. It's all mental. And by the way, you know what I've noticed over my years outside of football? Yep. Is how fans feel this giddy. And I would like to know what is the average turnaround time to bump? Oh, man. I would say I would say the G to B ratio. Giddy to bum. Uh, <laughs> you know, I give it a. What sport are we in football? Football in yeah, particular? Because in basketball, it was stepping two times out of bounds. Yeah, I would say it's a good four games. Four games? Four games. In a career? Four games. This, it, but in fairness, no, you can no, go, you, no, you, no. There is no fairness in that. You no, can you, zip it. You no, can go B to no G fairness. real quick. Uh, Devontae Parker did. Devontae Parker went from bum to giddy real quick. Took him like five no, games. No, no look. No, he didn't go from bum to giddy. Because the whole time we were just like, hey, man, can we just get him on the field? Right? That was the whole thing. Everybody knew he could play. Nobody called him a bum. Nobody ever said he sucked. Just couldn't get on the field. Robbie, let's hit the headlines thingy. This is WAXYAM South Miami and WSFSFM HD2 Miramar, a radio.com sports station. Which is brought to you by the Orion Fields Dusters Convenience Stores. Truly steps beyond convenience. So Tua spoke yesterday. He wore the Fitzpatrick jersey and he actually uh, met all of his kids. I thought if I could break ice making you guys laugh, you know, wearing a Fitz jersey because... I mean, you know, Fitz, he's he's <laughs> he's very personable as well. I mean, very, very down to earth person, very humble. Uh, I, I've got to meet his family like about two days ago. Um, and, and it was pretty funny because everyone while we were on FaceTime, everyone's just scattered around the house. And so he introduces me to his, his kids and then he introduces me to his wife. And, you know, he's like, yeah, this this is this is it. This is everyone, and this is my family. <laughs> and then, you know, lo and behold, he forgets two of them. And so it's like, man, this <laughs> man really has a family. He's really been in the league for so long. These Fitzpatrick's they they're they're bleeping like rabbits. Oh wait, <laughs> I forgot Ryan Jr. Ryan, <laughs> get over well, at here. Least, at least he didn't name his kids like George. George the first, George the <laughs> second, George the third. I think uh, I think Smart Fitzpatrick probably names his kid like Proton, Neutron. One's just named Harvard. <laughs> Harvard, get over here. Crimson. Jeez. He's got. He, 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 do you think that Fitzpatrick just names his uh, names his kids after quarterbacks whose jobs he's taken? Jameis, get over here. <laughs> Gino. <laughs> Gino. Hold on, hold on, Tua, hold on. You know, if we have an eighth, I'm going to name her Tua. I'm going to name him Tua. Okay, it could go either way, girl or boy. He goes, really? That's what you do? That's what I do. 
So that's that that so that's that's cute. That's cute. So he met all the Fitzpatrick's kids. I love it. Well, here's the here's the I haven't heard this yet, but this when when I saw this, I'm like, oh, he loves him, some Chan Gailey. Ooh. No matter what offense you're stepping into, it's it's always going to be a, a process of learning, and I think that's where I'm at. I'm still in the process of getting to understand uh, Chan's offense. Now, from a perspective of you know personality with with who Chan is and whatnot, I mean Chan Chan's phenomenal, really great guy down to earth um you know when it's when it's time to work he's he's out there you know we we go to work but um it's 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 a very friendly environment with with him and the the other quarterbacks as well man the chan chan man silly he's young it it's a friendly environment because ain't no football being played (laughs) well yeah he did start off his press conference like that yesterday he's like I gotta tell you, not a lot of football in this NFL. A lot of a lot of film study. I'm like, you're not allowed, bro. Hey, it's like that normally. You're you're on the field for an hour and a half, hour forty five minutes, but you had the facility all day. <sighs> Meetings, walkthroughs. I'm gonna tell you. Boring. Like you guys laugh when you hear a player falling asleep. I'm surprised everybody don't take a nap. It's boring. Oh, but just think about it. I mean. When I was in Minnesota, we had the same coaches every year I was there. And what is going it go, over like, the same stuff, so you playing be, the same teams. And so you have to go in a meeting. So, like, do you have a running backs meeting, a special no, teams first, meeting, and then an offense goes. meeting? Here's how it goes. At, I want to say, 7.30 or 8 o'clock, you have special teams meeting. But special teams is pretty much everybody. You know, you got until you get to, like, I didn't have to go to special team meeting after I got after, like, my seventh year. Right, but before that, you're on some type of first, second team, special team, some. Now that changes every you know day, depending on what you're doing on that practice. Then you have the the big meeting. That's with the head coach. You know, he says what he got to say, points of emphasis, what right. we need to do, don't, stop getting don't, in trouble, don't, whatever. Don't, don't poop in the porta potty. Right. Then you shut the divider. Offense, defense, it means usually watch practice as a group. Oh. Uh, Go over what we're going to do today, blah, 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 blah. Then you have running back meetings. Watch practice again, Ugh. right? Go over what the game plan is for that that uh, that portion of the game today, whether it's short yardage, you know, um, two-minute, whatever. Then you have uh, a walkthrough. I'm exhausted. Then you have lunch. Then you have practice, Right? Sometimes in between lunch and practice, you have another meeting. So you kind of reiterate what you're going to do on the field that day. Then you go on, go on the field. Now, when I was in Carolina, they watched practice right after practice. So you would go back into the meeting room and watch practice for that day. What do you do the next day? Watch new stuff. Oh. Or hey, you can I ask you something? Down. What is is there at these meetings? Is there a, is there a certain somebody? Let's just say like our our old friend uh, Brian London. Uh huh. Oh, very 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 slick on asking all the questions. Oh, he you would know? get punched out. Like like, uh, yeah. does anybody have any questions? Yeah, I got like they got like four questions. No, you know what they will say? Somebody in the meeting after you get ridiculed and made fun of. We'll say, save that for your individual meeting. Do yeah, there's individual meetings? I just told you. Oh. We watch the film as a group, as an offense, and then you go watch the film again as uh, as running backs. Oh, no, no, no. I thought on top of running backs, I thought you also had individual meetings. No, 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 no. I'm talking about individual groups. Oh, man. I thought you meant like that, that after the running back meeting, then each coach talks to each guy individually. No. Oh, that would be no. terrible. Hell well, that only happens if you're in trouble. So I would see Denny for that first five minute meeting in the beginning of the day, and I wouldn't see him again until practice. That's the head coach. Phew. Now some coaches coach, you know, like if a defense coordinator is a head coach or he handles the defense, he'd be in the defensive room. If the offensive coordinator was the head coach or call the plays, he would, you know, be in the offensive group. But yeah, it it was brutal. Brutal. Just imagine every day, and then in camp, 
you do that twice because you have morning practice and evening practice. Jeez. So I'm telling you, I'm like, my rookie year, somebody snitchy mouse on me and say, we got young guys falling asleep. But that's what you do when you're 3-13. and 13. You snitch. <laughs> Right, and and so, so you had, they, you had so you had some West Helms type, some keeper yeah. of the game. So so they uh they snitched on me, and so you know like reporters do, right? Hey, somebody said you were sleeping. Oh, they snitched uh, on you to a reporter? Yeah, oh. I sleeping because everybody want to know why you're losing. Why you're losing is never you're not good enough. It's always because you're sleeping in meetings. Guys aren't taking serious. It's always other things that they write about. Yes, that's true. So that happened uh, with Fournette last year, right? So, so they said. Uh, so they asked me about, hey, um, you know, rumors have it that you've been sleeping means. I said, let me ask you a question. Have I missed an assignment? Have I gone the wrong way on the field? Have I not known my responsibility? Right? Who the hell are you to ask me? Well, what I'm doing is it making a difference in wins or losses? If I stay up and in tune and drink my coffee, are we gonna win more games? I said, well, get the hell out of here. That was it. Like, you know, like, like, come on, man. You ever have a guest speaker with a Russian accent? No. That's telling guest you about speaker. But I will say, in camp, in, somebody say Vontae Davis had an individual meeting. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a meeting. That's a pink slip. <laughs> you, know, you get traded or something. Um, no, but in camp, like, just like all corporations, you have all these meetings, like these HR meetings. So you have a meeting about drugs. You have a meeting about guns. You know, they have a, a speaker on guns, a speaker on uh, right, right, right. dealing with the police, so, uh, you know, domestic violence, uh, drugs. Chris Carter uh, comes in, tells you to get a fall guy. Right. That wasn't even that. No, nobody. They would never do that in, in training camp. Right. They that wouldn't was, do that wasn't drink. that the symposium? He did it was a rookie, it was a rookie symposium. <laughs> a rookie symposium. This guy gets on that Zoom call yesterday. This dude just owns the Zoom room. Let me just tell you, Leroy. Who? Tua. Oh, just owns the Zoom oh, room. Dude, you have to own the Zoom room when everybody is there to talk to you. They, it be, I mean, he was he was a beaming a beaming thing of light. They had to cut it off. I mean, they can't. They had like forty questions for Tua yesterday. Can't oh, have everyone. Um, look, that song makes me want to cry, bro. Been so long since we had a quarterback. You feel me, Leroy? No. (laughs) No. 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 (laughs) We ain't doing this. Uh, Joel Embiid. (laughs) Let's hear uh, hear a little bit more from our our football angel yesterday, Tua Tungavailoa. He got some time with uh, with the right arm of God, Leroy. Dan Marino. You know, some people call Tua the left arm of God. You know, I was watching these old Dan Marino commercials yesterday, trying to see what Tua's marketing could be down here. And I do find it weird that Dan Marino, a quarterback in Miami, was the spokesman for Isotoners. Anybody find that strange? Like I was Everybody watching- did what it was going on. Why, was, why, why did he get the pick? It's so pay. weird. No, I understand they pay, but why didn't they pick, like, you know, Boomer Esiason or somebody, someplace cold? Jim Kelly. Yeah. Makes no sense. It's like, it was like, I watched this old one where like Dan Marino walks into a Macy's and he's like, whoo, cold out there. I'm like, clearly he didn't go to Burdines. But here's, here's I'm the Boomer kicker. Size. Right? If you own a company, you own a company, who do you want to be your spokesperson? It's not a knock on any other guys. I give you three choices. Jim Kelly, Boomer Sison, or Dan Marino, who owns about every record in, at the time, in the NFL. And just way more handsome. Okay. And then, like. Got those baby blues. You know, okay. the curly hair. Good look. Okay. Texter writes in, Dolphins should be making their, should be playing the Falcons tonight with Tua making his debut. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Are we supposed to have preseason football tonight, Robbie? No. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hey, yeah, I think you were. It might have been last oh. night. Oh. Well, no, actually, mad, no, I think it was tonight. Man, yeah. how much fun would we be having tonight? The first night, we could have some whiskey. You know, we could be drinking, listen to Bob Greasy say, Oh, no, Tonga Tag of Leoa. Oh, no. God, that'd be great. Leroy, how much fun would that be? A notepad game tonight could have been. A little bit of a notepad game tonight. We could be talking about who are the guys standing out, you know, 
Maybe up in Josh Rosen's trade value. Oh, that's a bummer. Up Josh Rosen's trade value? Yeah. How about you up his value before you determine he's at trade value? (laughs) Well, anyway, here is Tua talking about his uh, interactions with Dan Marino. Well, the first time I met Dan, I think Dan reached out to me after I got drafted, which was super awesome. That was that was cool. Um, but when I the first day I got into the building, Chan was in our meeting, or I mean, uh, Dan. Dan was in our meeting and Love got it. to talk to Dan. I mean, he he's also a really down to earth guy. I mean, he's someone that you can just chat with, you know, for someone who pretty much is the you know talk of, of the town with with Dan um, you know he's he's super humble you know he he doesn't hold his head high or um, walk around here like he's he's the man which he is but I mean, he, he's super humble yeah well he doesn't really have to because they actually have somebody at the Dolphins facility who throws his, throws rose petals where he walks hey hmm? he said he calls him Dan Dan that's too cute <laughs> oh, here, Tobin, you said that Marino is the right arm of God. Funny how none of those fingers on that arm has a Super Bowl ring. Wow. That's that's just rude. That's that's almost that's, like UD slander. That's just rude. That, that You know what, Robbie? Minus one on that guy. Minus one. He called him Chad. Really? No. He was he was going to say Chan Gailey. Yeah. And he meant to say Dan. Now, well, if, even we caught that. I don't even now. I don't know if you know this, but Tua has a documentary coming out in September called Tua. Ah. <laughs> why? Why, Dude, why are you so bothered by this? Can I just say to you this? If it were anybody else, you'd be making fun. I don't know. Yes, you would. Hard Stop. to say. I hate when you do this. Hard to say. Well, can, what if it was what if it was Johnny Manziel? You know what? I want us to have a can we have a little watch party for this? Can you what and I can we, can we have a little, come on, man? Dude. You got a better chance to get me to watch Shark Week with Tyson. You wouldn't but you could even do it you could just do it for the giggles. You can make fun of it while I'm having no, fun. No. Robbie, no. like, you know, you wouldn't want to have a little a little virtual gathering to watch this? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely watch. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. No, you're not. No, you're not. Um, you guys are crazy. In Samoan culture, we believe in prophecies. Before my grandfather passed away, he prophesied about me. He would say, Tua, your name is everything. And one day, it will be known all over the world. How do you stop Tua? That's beautiful, Leroy. Come on. That's beautiful. Well, anyway, Devon Godshaw was asked about uh, whether or not the team is going to have a gathering yeah. to watch the Tua movie, and uh, this is what the Dolphins defensive tackle had to say to that. Uh, what about uh, a team private viewing of Tua the movie? Tua the movie. I mean, uh, hey, if he got a movie, he got a movie coming out or something? Yeah, it's going to be on Fox. Hey, I'm, in- I'm excited to see that. You know, I hope they have the last game, you know, when uh, – LSU beat him, but uh, hey, you know, I'm just leaving it up to grabs. That's my guy, though. He's a great guy, man. He's a great guy. <laughs> See, no, no. <laughs> hey, 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 damage you is can't done, go back. <laughs> hey, Wait, first of all, wait. <laughs> he, he paused, and then he said, ooh, maybe I better say something nice. <laughs> oh, well, I got to you know, I'm just leaving it up to grabs. <laughs> uh, that's my guy though. He's a great guy, man. He's a great guy. <laughs> yeah, no, too late. That's my guy too, though. That's too late. Just 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 we do that for giggles. Hey, me, nobody gonna be mad at him. Me right? and, uh, nobody me, gonna be mad at Godshaw for saying what he said. Me he and Double T, get, we do that, we do that for kicks. He don't have to retract. He don't have to try to soften the blow. You got it, you you meant you it. Got, you gotta tread lightly a little bit with the franchise quarterback. No, you don't. You got to Not, they, hey. That's Tua, the college player, we ripping. We ain't ripping two of my teammate. Well, no, uh, listen. Listen to this again, because it sounds like the light bulb goes off. Like, oh. Because <laughs> I, I made funny, but then I had to go back and uh, clean right. it up. But you don't have to apologize. I'm excited to see that. You know, I hope they have the last game, you know, when uh, 
LSU beat them, but uh, hey, you know, I'm just leaving it up to grabs. That's my guy, though. He's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like somebody nudged him. It's like somebody nudged him. Devon, what are you doing? Hey, he's your quarterback. Hey, no, he's my quarterback now. He was my opponent. Well, is he supposed like he's on defense? Like, is and 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 two as a rookie. Like, is he supposed to have any uh, affinity for the kid? I know he's his teammate, but like, you know, is there any like, uh, you know? Now, it, it, let me tell you, the first parts of camp, it's usually offense against defense. So no, now like, it's nobody get, against nobody. Right. It's who can watch the screen better. Right. Uh, that's funny though, man. Like it's almost like somebody shot him with a dart. Uh, well, <laughs> HR, HR hit him with an HR dart. Yeah, man. He's oh, like, no, I'll tell you what, he's been, he's been like one of the ambassadors for the dolphins. That dude will do all the interviews. He does the cute little videos. Yeah. It's like, Hey, 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 that's my guy. That's my guy. Just kidding. He didn't have to though. He like, didn't have to, didn't, but wait, he didn't have I play, I play with Buckeyes. Oh, I, like I, I'm sure you did, but uh, did you did you play with the Buckeye? Who? I don't know. Whoever it was at the time. I mean, Robert Smith, Chris Carter, Corey Stringer. I, I mean, they were all high draft picks. Like, yeah, man. Like it, that's you. Like, no, I don't think you need to take nothing back. Why? Well, I don't understand why people. Get so, oh, no, I said something mean, or I said something, oh, I didn't want to, uh, no, he's my guy, though. I don't no. know, but he, but he got he got, real, he got a conscious real quick. For what? I don't know. Play it again, Robbie. Listen to this. Listen to, what, what was filtering through his mind during this, during this, this pause? Hey, I'm, in, I'm excited to see that. You know, I hope they have the last game, you know, when uh, LSU beat him. But, uh, hey, you know, I'm just leaving it up to grabs. That's my guy, though. He's a great guy. <laughs> Wait, you know what's funny? Like, usually reporters pounce on that. No follow-up whatsoever. No, uh, he, he don't have nothing to apologize for. Like, I'm going to tell you right now. I still get crap from Buckeyes who aren't even playing in the Michigan-Ohio State game. Because they couldn't say nothing. It's a fair question, though, Devon. It's a fair question. No. Get out of here. He don't have to. He ain't need to apologize. He ain't say nothing wrong. That's my guy, though. That's my guy. You talking about Alabama, LSU? Those players can't say nothing negative about winning college? Does two have to? Does two ever have to get like? Does he have to go do the giant pancake order like you did for for Devon Godshow, or only for Fitzpatrick? I don't know what the rules are now, right? I mean, back then we could call it hazing. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> uh, text right in when the reporters didn't have a follow up, he panicked. <laughs> right, exactly. He like, ooh, he, he wait, he took his little paper and he went, huh? But okay, right, okay, okay, yeah, mm. mm-hmm. Like he's right there. He said, oh, that's my guy, though. That's my guy. Don't forget that. That's my guy. <laughs> write that, Beasley. You write that. He, he don't have. He don't have to be. He don't, he don't have to apologize. He I bet you every time, soon as Tua walked in the building, Godshaw probably went right up to him and say, "Ha, <laughs> go Tiger." Yep, that's it. Go Tiger. That's all he say. Keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> 